Uh, <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh, it's so beautiful out here today, finally. Like it brings life to me when we can start putting out plants. I got my, I'll just show you, you can see, I don't know if you can see down there, this plant is in the way. See my big head, my guy from Easter Island. Uh huh. Oh, and then you enter and it's a circle. And then on the weekend, a buddy of mine and Rob, where'd you get that? It, it, uh, one of the guys out here, he's uh, he built himself a water fountain. He had a wolf on it and everything. He's a First Nations guy. And it was on the property of the RM. They made him rip it apart. It was all cemented in and everything. So Rob and I went and picked stones on Saturday. And while we were picking the stones, we saw this flat stone because they told us where they put all the rocks. And I saw this great big humongous flat stone. And I go, yesterday I woke up and I go, I need that flat stone. I want it. And they went and got it for me. So uh, I'll be doing retreats out here, Elijah. Honestly, I'm just waiting for the old guy next door to say, yeah, I'll sell you my property. Because then it would give us room for six people to sleep plus my cabin. So we could have 10 to 12 people out here for a retreat if we wanted to. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's so beautiful. So I've got a medicine wheel kind of down there. I, there was a lady from Camsac and she, like Camsac's an hour away. And she said that she sees my circle not as a medicine wheel. She sees my circle with a triangle in the middle. <laughs> she, she has every kind of cards you could imagine out there, right? Uh -huh. And she says, I have no clue what this means, Lori, but your circle has a triangle in it. <laughs> Can you, you imagine an outdoor experience doing this stuff? Well, I once had nine people in around a circle, and then the three, six, nine each had string that were like in a triangle. They were moving it, and the one, four, two had string. And so <laughs> while they were sitting in the tape, while they're sitting there, they had to move the string around. Yeah. The entire time. <laughs> What an experience knowing you're connected to two others that uh -huh. you've got to get into alignment, right? Uh huh. Oh, that's powerful. It's a pretty cool experience. Wow. I don't know if anyone remember. I'm sure they, and I think I went around them banging a drum while they were doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I always tend to add in another piece that probably might not be necessary, but. Oh, yeah, I don't know, but it's something that I would like to build out here because there's enough people out here in the summer. We do a, a market every Saturday morning, and I kind of talk about stuff, and people go, oh, let us know whatever you guys are doing, but I've never taken, like, here, then give me your email or get on this. Now we got the Visionary Hub going. I can say, get on this Facebook, blah, 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 or have little cards or something I can hand people, right? Right, so you don't have anything. No, I have, well, Sylvia's creating something right now and she's doing a good job, but I just myself don't have a single thing that I could just like hand people. Because when you get their interest like that, for get sure. them on board. I do in my office because when people come in for a notary and I tell them we do education, lessons, different workshops in the hub, well, I get them to go on right there and then, but right. you're in that environment. But out here, I've got to get that environment because I could probably get enough people just out here to experience this. Well, people yeah, that want to. it'd be people neat to do to. a hub factor outside at your place. Yes. You know, and just see what, like, I've done them in parks. I've done them kind of everywhere. And they're just, it's just a fun thing to kind of pull out. And Okay, that's a good idea. Just do a hub factor outside on a nice day. Yeah. Wow. That's a great idea. Well, I, I do realize, though, and I just kind of, figuring this out I got diagnosed like my doctor node Smith I'd love for you to connect with him one day somewhere in the future but so my thyroid is out of whack huh. so I go online and of course I'm researching and I connect with this guy in the UK that's you know what's the emotions and what's everything that goes with the thyroid right and it's throat because it's the throat chakra right and so he gave me you know all the natural healing stuff and I go okay well so now what like, and uh, so I'm going to do this for three months and then test it again. But as I'm doing more of the emotional connection to it, one, holy shit, like, what am I 
like my my any a thought today was I now affirm that I am resilient in the face of setbacks. Hmm. And that makes sense. And then doing the Ikigai, my life purpose, I live my light in order to guide others to live theirs. But I think making sure that they want theirs lit. Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise i'm you i'm because i said the other day i was sitting here with rob we were having a, just sitting visiting my partner and i said to him yeah we're trying to get guys to the hub factor and he goes and how's that going for you and he goes oh the ones that have shown up are okay but and he goes like why are you using the energy who's the people that you're attracting just build on that for now that will come later Lori. instead of creating all that resistance because that's too hard on you and I go, I know there's guys. And I said, the reason I'm thinking that is because my girlfriend, Sheila, you'll meet her one day. She's a beauty. Her husband died at 57. She used to do a luncheon once a month in her business, bring in a cook to cook the lunch, paid 10 bucks each. And we just had communication. And he used to say to her, her husband, well, why don't you invite men? So he was a guy that would have loved to have stepped into that, right? Mm -hmm. A lot don't, but a lot do. Well, I think also it depends on topics. Like, I mean, like, like I think if you, let's say, had a topic of nanotechnology or you had, like, men like to discuss oh. what they're interested in. And right. So, I mean, it could even be farming techniques. I mean, it could be, um, like, find out what people are interested in Yorkton and then host an interesting way to discuss it. And then you could come up with, like, 10 interesting questions on nanotechnology or... And then oh. people get to share their knowledge in a way that they wouldn't ordinarily. So it's a bit of a game. It's, it's a bit of, you know, they get to share what they have. Wow. Like I always thought that you could organize, like if I had a space, I'd yeah. first, I'd organize it by music and mm -hmm. second, like, like Thursday at six country music in the background kind of thing. And then you have, it could be uh Again, I mean, it could be a, a farm knowledge sharing convo. Right. It's And you get eight farmers who come who ordinarily might not talk. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the hub factor, but you could bring it in. It depends. You could bring it in or not. And then you have, like, there's so many valuable conversations that people want to share that type of stuff, but there's nothing that exists that brings them together. Right. So I imagine this big hall, like with all these round tables, and then there'd be a schedule of conversations. So, you know, let's say Friday at, at four, you might have, again, the Magic the Gathering, a card game for kids, uh, just discussing it. Um, or you could have like beauty tips, you know, yeah. for, for women, and then you just come in there and talk beauty tips. I mean, you know, that people aren't used to paying money to go have a conversation, but that's what they're, but I think that's the next realm of business. So do I. It's just how would you present it and how to bring it forward. That's a really good idea though. Like it's like out here, we live in a little community, Friday night at six, seven o'clock is bingo. Well, the kids, there's prizes galore. They get like a hundred people there at the bingo in the hall. There's nothing else to do, right? No. And then Saturday morning at 9.30 is the market. It's tables all around outside and it's a market. There's a reflexologist there. There's people that are selling little gadgets. There's whatever, right? right. And people look forward to that because what it is, is, is bringing the community together in a space where we're all of a sudden knowing each other. Yeah. I could even do this. I could sit at a table and just do conversations at one of the markets even. I mean, I've done them before. Like again, you're you're doing uh, little readings and it's fun. You know, people sit yeah. down. And it's, yeah. It's, you just get in the habit of of uh, of using the card because there's so many different ways to use them. Right. But it's see, and that's what I haven't like. Well, I mean, I have to get the convo killer kind of the outline for how I want to describe that. It doesn't have to be a long video, but that's going to be an important one because that's the one I have to do first for Rhonda for the wave of leadership. Right. Right. So the convo killers would be number one. And what a great way to start anything. I'm reading a book right now by Teek Nhat Han, and it's called Communication. And all I could see in that whole thing, I'm only a third way through, 
I'm rereading it from 2012, is Convo Killers. The Convo Killer cards keep coming up as I'm reading that book. Well, it's, I mean, it's funny because they exist, but no one talks about them, right? And this, like, it hasn't been codified. Yeah, I know. And uh, I was speaking with this Hong Kong crew, and they were thinking the first set should be Convo Killers 2 kind of thing. Because mm -hmm. It's the easiest thing to get, I think, for people because they have to deal with it so much. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Like if, if you look at you know, most media or you look at most when you're listening to people, it's, it's all convo killers. It's all convo killers. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm noticing more than I've noticed ever how much, you know, just putting news on and stuff like that. Like it's irritating me internally in my body. It's irritating me. Uh-huh. Like whether it's Donald Trump shows up, whether anything going on with, what's his name? Oh, Microsoft guy. Bill Gates. You know, all this stuff. I'm just sick of it. Jeffrey Epstein. I'm just tired of it. I know. And it's a lot of the, like, it's men. This world was run by men for how long? Yeah. And now we're stepping into a feminine energy with the age of Aquarius, right? Yeah. And feminine, not meaning a she, a chick, but meaning our feminine energy within us. So no wonder we're going to see a lot of people just going, whoa, whoa what's going on here? Because I have a lot of masculine energy in me, Elijah. Uh -huh. And I think it's been built over time with me because I've been in a total um, masculine industry for so long. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, ha, now coming into the feminine side, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you haven't mentioned uh, <laughs> my background. It looks awesome. Oh, I was looking at it while I was listening to your thing. It is so perfect. Like, did wow. You, did you look at your uh, e your Gmail? I didn't look at my Gmail. Let me just look at it. Elijah, oh, I see a Zoom invite. Oh, Hub Factor for Zoom background. There we go. Because if can you imagine if I could just sit here and do a session of something just sitting like this, how fun it would be for me? not thinking I have to get to the hub to the building to town I can just do it from a oh this is beautiful wow now put put that in your zoom okay I don't know how do you have uh you're on a laptop right now I have a laptop okay if you look at if you look at your lower left corner it says stop video first okay. da download that background from your gmail okay and put it in some folder okay I'm just sending it to, I'm just going to exit full view and I'm just sending it to myself because I send it to Lori. I don't use my Gmail on my, this computer because it's so highly secure mm. and it kicks out so much stuff, Elijah, like so junk. Do you recognize all the words and why they're there on the, on my background? Oh, that it's so cool. I recognize them business. Let me just. I want to go back to it and see it for now. I'll get this big. Okay. Yeah, like the group space, the business field. So and the, the, and the, the, and the 3.5 being the creativity. So that's an, like ice and the seasonal. So I see that as the inner, like the synergy map, right? On, on point five, which is art, beautification, creativity. But then when I see the group space, I'm going, okay, inner group, inner group space. Well, remember group space, community space, one-on-one -on -one space, personal space and sacred space, right? That's the five spaces map. Yeah. And then the fields, you've got the business field, the social field, intimate friendship, social and service. Right. So when you put those two models together, yeah. you get 30 space fields field spaces right like there's only and that creates the context of what conversation you're in it's very exact so by putting it in so like the big thing i see the difference with the inflow matrix is it's it creates software using models first not just i don't know how they did it before but it's using models to distinguish what conversation that you're having oh, well and then the season is in there those cycles yeah, so, so you've got like, you got your 3.5 from your synergy wheel, your 2.5 from your flow wheel, you've got the cycle, and you've got the, 
the field and the space. So that creates okay. very like this perspective, right? Is I'm coming from the creativity product perspective, but mm -hmm. if I changed and then went to research, now it's my lifetime, I'm still in a business field, I'm in a group space, but like each of those cards is an interface, right? In a software program. That's what the sneaky wow. plan is, is that at some point, all those cards are going to be the language structure that creates the software system. That is, that is amazing. That is amazing going from, and you're going from the synergy to the flow, bringing in, yeah, I like that, that you're bringing in the field, you're bringing in the um, five spaces map. Like when you think of the five spaces map, what would be a short description of that map? Well, that's, that's like the first map. Like that's the first map to distinguish communication boundaries. And so there's a huge, like if, I, if I'm in my personal space, obviously I'm just by myself. Yeah. But as soon as I come in now, I'm talking with you, it's one-on-one. -on -one. This is very exact, right? There's no one else here. It's one-on-one. -on -one. So this is yeah. a very distinct thing that's different from the personal space. Yeah. Now, when people go about boundaries, the boundary is like, okay, well, you're over there and I'm here. That's you. That's me. Very mm -hmm. simple. But then as soon as you go to group space, yeah. now you're more people are there. There's some sort of boundary. There's some reason the group is there, whether proximity or for another reason, which is different from community space when you just walk around the community and you, you might bump into somebody. You right. don't know them that well. And it can be a one-on-one -on -one space, but it's in the community space. And so, I mean... If you're looking at communication and patterns, mm -hmm. you know, who I am in a group space, I find is very different from who I am in a one-on-one -on -one space, yeah. which is very different from who I am just by myself. And so it's, 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 it's like, I don't, like I've studied some communication theory and, and no one sort of starts there. Oh. And so now we're looking at our patterns and going, okay, well, you know, what pattern do I have where, and what we're saying with these these other focus points are that like this, like just imagine like the internet right now is this big mind yeah. and the interface of the software system is the entry point into that mind. And so the, so, what, what's like the, I, I got some like, this is within zoom, right? So I can't, I'm not a programmer, so I can't create the software program, but I can create the interfaces to show right. what it is where we're kind of going to, because we need to frame the communication. We need to frame the conversations mm -hmm. to say exactly what are we in? Oh my, because that's why even me, like knowing quite a bit of this stuff, but when we're dealing with somebody new stepping into it and we go like, when you said it's a communication and patterns, it's the start. Oh, now look at this. So now we that have- That gets me so excited. The convo type, there's the value card. There's the, oh. let's, now we're taking the spell and we're bringing it right into where we are or who we are wow oh that just thrills me once you've added those cards in so oh. now again like if i'm in a negotiation caring about the terms and you're in a design specs yeah. or you're in like we both want to be in a negotiation <laughs> right and then right. you can have a negotiation but a lot of times it be it's very you know, how do you move into that? It's, it's some, I don't know how, but here it's like, click, okay, now I'm in this and this is what I want to be in. Yeah. So it's, so, it's, so just so you know, Sylvia and I are continuing, we're continuing our calls with you. Yeah. And then what I would like to do with her and I is the three of us do a call. Okay. Cause yeah. I think if we do a call each and then a joint call, a call each, then a joint call, then we're constantly bringing, because Sylvia said the other day, I, I'd like to see us really learn the inner, outer, inner, outer, because don't forget, she's new it. She's reasonably new at this, but she's not. She's been listening to me for quite a while. Right. Um, and we know we want to figure, get those maps, definitely, and the convo killers and really bring those into play. And like you're, like you're saying, Elijah, then she's learning them individually. But then all of a sudden, she's seeing how they all come in together, like the way that you're doing this with the daily cycle, the minute by minute, the, and we use that when we do our group call, we come together and say, okay, this is how this all looked. Sylvia learned this so far. Lori 
reviewed on this. Now let's bring this together and see how it fits where we want to step into the hub more powerful. Because I know I get really excited about it and I, I understand it. But I, I think my understanding is how do I take it and I hate to say simplify, clarify it to newbies. For sure. Yeah, to new people like Node Smith. Like, you know, he's, he's a communications guy. That's his gift is communications. He's a doctor, naturopathic doctor. Mm -hmm. He loves, um, what's his name? The guy, the bald guy that does that four dimension stuff. Um, oh, Ken Wilbur. Ken Wilbur, yeah. He just, he really likes him. So he would love this stuff, right? Because he's already got that mind and he's a type three in the Enneagram. Mm. And he's in, his wife is, a, they're both naturopathic doctors. Okay, let's, did you, um, did you, let me just download check. The, let's see if I got it. it. I just emailed it to myself so I can get it from my LR, Lori at LR Future. No, it hasn't come through. I don't know what's going on today. It hasn't. Well, are you getting, did you get access to the first one? Well, I, I just saw it on my phone but I want to see it on my computer. So thank, it has to go you. to Lori at lrfuture.com. Oh, yeah. Should I send yeah. it to Gmail or something? You sent it to my Gmail. If you could send it to Lori at lrfuture.com. Okay. Then I'll get all of them there. Oh, they're, they're amazing. Wow. And then you put, oh my goodness, this is crazy good. And then when you're talking to each other, like in Zoom, now we can yep. show examples of how to do the from one to the other kind of thing. Okay, oh. which, which one you wanted to? Okay, the Lori, L-A-U-R-I-E at lrfuture.com. Okay. And then once I open that up, then I can, you can show me how to save it. Okay. And see, do you see the value? You put the, I put the value across. No, I didn't see the value yet. So each at the top is the value. So you, you actually have your values on your screen to show oh. what your values are. That is perfect. Oh yeah, there it is. Authenticity and passion for the market. Authenticity for marketing passion. Okay, now that would make sense to have that on so that we're all seeing what those values are. Yeah. No, it's not coming, Elijah. I haven't sent it yet. I just. Oh, okay. okay. Actually, I spent 16 straight hours yesterday. <laughs> did you working on this stuff? Yeah, I did it for three different groups. I, <gasps> I came up with probably 24 interfaces for you. Did you? And the thing is like, you can go from the services. So let's say they, they come to you and you're, it's your first contact. Yeah. Then you put on your the seven levels map. Yeah. And you go, where are you? So you can actually ask them, where are you? And then you can go show the seven stages, uh, the seven step pulse model. Yeah. And then you can go, okay, well, here's, here's our process. Here's where we start. So you could put your inside those 49 sort of steps yeah, you can put your discovery process, you can put all of the ideal job parts of your team in there. Yeah, so it's like this universal structure. They come. Um, I, I got to show it to you, but let me just. Uh... Wow. OK, I just got to go out of this because I'm on my own screen here. So I was just looking for my email from you. Still. Uh... Yeah. Oh, my gosh, this is. So it's kind of like what, like you've got the physical building. Now we're building the outer, like the new, like virtual reality will be huge. Virtual reality training, right? Like we're, we're building an infrastructure to deal with, with, with a whole new way of learning. Yeah. Because I don't know, but this COVID, but again, like sitting like this, if somebody can make it hundred an hour sitting here and you can teach someone to make a hundred an hour, they don't have to go to university for four years, you know? To oh, and spend how much money? Yeah. Okay, virtuality is going to be key, and you're right because, yeah, okay, people will still come to the space. There's no doubt about it. We're all calc we're all figuring out what we want to do for a mastermind to bring in after the hub. So there's an intro to something else that people can take. So of course, Sylvia is looking at balance and communication, that theme. 
I'm looking at using the Enneagram of personalities, kind of bringing that in to tweak people's interest. Mm -hmm. And then that could lead to the discovery process, which would be a bigger program. But we're just starting with small 90 minute, one hour, four sessions, that's it. And what do those four sessions look like, right? Okay. In each way. So we all have to come together or not together. We're all gonna build them independently but bring them together through the hub. <laughs> Let me just check Elijah to see if it's showing up here. Okay. So I, I t we had a talk on Friday, all of us. Uh -huh. And Carrie says, we're all grown women. Why do we all need to four be together? And why get offended if one, two people are doing something then, you know, like when Carol, Christy comes into the hub and she sees that we've been writing on a whiteboard and it's stuff that, when did you guys do this? Why didn't you link me in? Why didn't you call me? Well, because we're just brainstorming. We've never had to do that before. Yeah. So you, I, sometimes you don't even think of it. Honestly, we don't even think of it because we're just so busy trying to get things going. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, it's all okay. It'll, it'll all come together. But I did mention that we have a synergy map already. Yeah. And I mentioned that um, we're going to pull it out. And she goes, well, what about mine and Carrie's values? And I go, we have a synergy map already that was for the visionary hub that we stepped into way too quick and we didn't bring it. We're talking about how are we bringing people in? If Dr. Node Smith wants to be involved with us, we're talking about what do we go through as a process? So we're backing up and we're going through a process. Well, I did talk to Christy and I think um, from her yeah. end, and, and I, I could understand from her end, because <laughs> I think that you, you're like me, bring them close, then yeah. you find out what's going on, then push them far away. <laughs> oh. And then state it as if it's obvious, but to the other person, it's quite a, a thing. Because I think when you said, okay, well, maybe you're an ally or you're an ally. Yeah. That was, that was like <laughs> kind of uh, pushing a little hard, I thought, in terms yeah. of you, you invite them in the house and then the, it didn't work out. Then you kind of put them in the barn. <laughs> well, it's exactly like you said with someone you put in the role of the nine and then say, no, I don't want you in that role. Exactly. But it's just, it's, she's, she's a good enough girl. I just have been so, she's great. She's got great ideas. She's going to be good. It's just that it's not like they're into something new with us. It's been something that's been built over time. And I'm just kind of allowing people just to walk in and shift everything. And it doesn't matter if it's yeah. Kaylee, if it's Christy, if it's Carrie, it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. But it's like, how do we want to go forward with this and how can we work together at it? So when it comes to values, starting a brand new map when this has been going on for a long time, like you said, with Lorianne, as soon as Justine started with us, Lorianne redid our map. Right. Right. Like that, that doesn't that, make sense now that I really think about it. It was exciting at the time because I like going through the process. But now it's like, why would we do that? Okay, where do I go, Elijah, to do this to get that on now that I've okay, saved? Okay, so so you have those, you've downloaded yeah. those. Okay, yeah. so if you go to your bottom left where it says stop video. Stop video? On yeah, on your screen, go to the bottom left beside mute and stop video. Oh, Stop video doesn't say stop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little arrow to, to the right, click that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And choose virtual background. Okay, yeah. And then you'll get a screen will pop up and then there's a little plus sign to the right. Yeah. It says add image or video. Okay, add image, yeah. Click on that and then go into your file folder system. And find it, okay, there we go. This is yeah, so so I don't know, like I like I said, Elijah, whether but like the girls are part of it, Christy's part of it, Carrie's part of it, everybody is, they've all got their gifts. Which one am I doing? The synergy map? Yeah, yeah, yeah you've got you've got okay. the okay, so I've got it in there okay, now. But I, yeah, I think it's because you're in outside. Oh. You, you almost need a, a, a certain background. Okay. Like a, I, white, like a white wall, maybe, or something. Okay. 
Okay. Because it's not really working that well. <laughs> no, I see that. Like, let's just see what happens if this goes behind me. Yeah, you're right. We need a white wall. Yeah. Okay. So okay. you might you can take that off for now and. Uh, yeah, I will. We'll go to none. Yeah, because this was from my wave of lead, not wave of leadership. This was Wings of Change conference. I had the wings. Okay. See them? Yep. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Like I didn't even know how to do that before and I kind of forgot. So, okay, I'll go back to none. There we go. Cause we're doing dare to be you tonight. It starts at 6.30. Oh really? Okay, fantastic. So Carrie, Carrie was talking to me some time ago. She goes, why don't we just, you and I just go forward. So here I am kind of here going, why don't we just go forward? Cause her and I can plan, a, plan an, an event and plan a curriculum for a course just like that. Right. No, for sure. I mean, I don't think, I mean, that's the thing when you add people and, and kind of like personalities of, of people need the freedom to do what they want with who. Yeah. And others, I think you have inclusion somewhere, right? Uh, on our map? Yeah. Did you make us a map, Elijah? I, I did a long time. When you first sent it to me, I made it and then I lost it. But I, I actually, I used your map to do all these other interfaces, but I will make okay. you a map. I just, okay. Uh, yeah. Cause I think we'll have to, so what, here's what kind of the thought was, because if we want to figure out how to bring people in, Sylvia and I and Christy and well, Sylvia and I, Life Matters Learning Center, all that stuff we've been doing for years. But when we actually put that synergy map together, it was Kaylee, Sylvia and I, I told you how we did it. We picked our 10 top values and then we divinely put them in the space. And then we discussed so Christy goes, well, what about Carrie and I? He says, well, what will happen is you guys will bring your values in. And then we as a team of four will look at the value of trust in the center right now. But you guys want to bring in, you want to bring in, you too have value of freedom and clarity. Right. Which fits the best in. So it's not like it's not giving them the opportunity. It's just okay. not shifting what we already have. Like, because they wanted to start all over. Right. And well, we... Uh, and I think if you come to a sort of negotiated agreement around which ones they are, then that's a, yeah. a great way of doing it. Yeah. That's how we got the ones we have already. Right. Now it would just be a matter of the girls stepping in. It's not like that took a lot of work to do because right. we had to discuss what does trust look like in the center? What does clarity look like? What does this look like? And how does it resonate with you? But how does it resonate with us as a team? Because, you know, Node Smith, I had to go see my doc and because he's in communications and stuff, he goes, Lori, you're taking on something that most people wouldn't even step into. You're bringing a bunch of people together. You run a business. That's easy. You're one person doing something. That's easy. Yeah. You're making all the decisions. You're doing this. You're doing that. You're so inclusive with everybody that it's almost hindering to a point. Uh, That's what he said. Well, and you got inclusion at, at products. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. So that's, that's, again, it's like looking at these met values and going, okay, like, wh what does it mean kind of thing? Right, you right. That expansion at field. Yeah. So you're, you want to expand your field, including yeah. people in products. But I, I think that's where, like, I think if just a little feedback for you, mm -hmm. in terms of what happened with uh, Christy. Yeah. I, it's Christy? Christy, yeah. Okay. Um, is that, you know, it's just like, like I've done that. Like, is that thing, like you bring someone close, you put them up high and then you realize it's, it's not working because it was too fast. And then you push them out yeah. with a little too much force. I see a little bit too much force. Okay. That or, makes sense. Or a lot too much force. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, that's the statement of, well, you're an ally now, kind of, that's a statement of me going, well, you're 100%. not president. I didn't say that though. Well, that's what she heard uh, and she, and no. she was quite hurt by that and i think that's something you might want to clear with her yeah oh i will for sure because um, it, it was like like come in and then put like and then push out and yeah and that's a little too strong for again the inclusion or the feeling of uh i mean and the thing is like when you look at these is you're being authentic in the present moment yeah and you want to expand your field, but you're not being clear from the beginning about how to. Yeah. yeah. So I think most of these things is we, we're learning, you know, how hard we go. Right? 
yeah and it's and not old easy old patterns are <laughs> And then, and then when, you, and it wasn't even, we brought her in to be a consultant. Right. That was her purpose coming in. She had bicycles, the old fashioned bico, bicycles with the basket drawn that was going to go on the wall. And that should be a thing in the window. And that should be this. And I'm going, like, if you saw our first couple meetings and it's like, and then she was, I want to be part of this. So we just allowed it. <laughs> so we went through zero process to bring that person in and she pushed herself in. Right. Well, that's how so that's, strong, I mean, she's strong, right? Strong. So, Ooh. so but the thing is about being strong is then you can be too strong depending yeah. upon the situation, right? So that's what she's yeah. learning. Yeah, yeah. Small and I got an eight wing too because she's an eight personality and Peg Beaton is an eight personality and look what happened with Peg. <laughs> like, eight, eight are tough, they, they can be the most Sort of like the, the most valuable person to a team, but also the, the, the one that can kill a team. The one that can kill a team. And it all comes down to how healthy are they in their levels of personality. So when we're talking about all doing a mastermind and Christy goes, well, I want to bring the Enneagram of personalities in. She hasn't done, she's done the test. Right. And Sylvia goes, I like the idea of making a base of the personalities. Everybody wants to know about themselves. She goes, but I would prefer in doing my thing about balance and my workshop, I'd rather bring Lori in to be a guest on my workshop for half an hour to go through her presentation. Right. And that kind of made sense. But how, how, far, how far are you in your um, design of the discovery process? Well, we're, we're, Kaylee and I are going to be working on it. Like I've got the frame, you've seen the framework and it's just, okay, what does each section of the nine sections look like? Right. So have you I, broken I, that down? Hmm? Yeah. Have We've broken, broken it down? down a little bit. Kaylee and I are working on that. Okay. Yeah. What would it look like when we're dealing with just one? Because I've always blended one, two, three together in cash flow planning because money in, money out. Right. Because one is accounting, how well do you keep track? Two is spending, and three is earning. Right. But I want to break it down even more. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So we're working. Her, her and I are working on that because I we brought her on as a stu summer student through my company through LR Future. Right. And then um, I've got her for five hours, and the tub has her for ten hours. So, okay. Like she's a pretty bright kid, Elijah. For sure. Like For she's sure. pretty bright. She's catching on to this stuff quite fast. Well, she wants to be the flow wheel queen. She wants to be the flow wheel queen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. These kids are cute though. They come in and they want to be this right now. They don't want to do the work that takes to do it. Right. She's going to be an Olympic medalist, but if she doesn't find a curling team, she's going to go to snowboarding or ski jumping or something different well oh, that really? doesn't you know she wants to be a medalist right oh, okay but i thought she wanted to be a curling medalist right yeah but it's a specific she might have a team huh so so my i guess my biggest thing right now for us to get done would if we can get the synergy map so that we have it and then we can go through a process once carrie's done school at the end of june like we can zoom her in too, I guess, and she can have the values cards in front of her on Zoom because Car Carrie kind of has done some of this stuff with me before. Yeah. She she was one of my practice mo maps when you and Lorianne did the training. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So she's familiar with it a bit. So we could probably do that and just bring in the values and then those two pick their top 10 values and then place them in and then we just have a conversation around it. And there's no doubt if inclusion is in products and something else comes up that seems to fit better we're going to choose it as a team right so what i was kind of finding was that when i was i didn't really like the way kaylee was treated because i saw someone coming in like this i deal with people her age all the time i ran a restaurant with 40 people i blah 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 well number one was we're not a restaurant Number two is we work this way. We don't work this way. We are getting out of the old hierarchical models. But then she shared with me when her and I were able to have a talk, partners in their business kicked her out. Right. So she's been kicked out of two different organizations. So her fear is set up big time because she's got this fear of being kicked out. 
And I think when you said you're an ally now that you triggered that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, and maybe in this conversation, maybe I mentioned allies, members, and customers, not putting them in those spots at all. Okay. And maybe she took it that way. Okay. I because think that's how we're bringing people. in outside people is through one of those three channels. Right. So she must have took it that way. But there's communication. That's not at all what I meant. How do we take the people that want to come in as founders with Sylvie and I, and how do we set them up to be the right fit for all of us together? Right. Right. Because Carrie's very much a three personality. We go three wanting to be a nine because she claims she's a nine now, but she's got so much three in her. It's unbelievable. Like achieve and, you know, it's, um, it's cool. It's have, you, have, have you uh, designed a court? Like, are you going to teach the Enneagram? Well, I, I've got already done one that I did with Corliss. She asked me to do a workshop with her. So I've done one with them. Okay. Um, so I've already got that one. And then of course I did the one with uh, wave of leadership. That's a little different. But I've done the one with Corliss, which is the basics. Enneagram personalities 101. Right. That's it. So we already have that one. Kaylee and I built that a couple of years ago. Because I was thinking like in September, like you're having curriculum to start, like having a fall schedule. Yeah. And then sort of printing up a fall schedule of all the things that are happening at the Visionary Hub. Oh, good idea. And sort of aiming because the summer is a summer and then yeah. looking at the fall to the Christmas and sort of putting time in to figure out what the schedule is on that. Okay. So let's create a schedule. We'll do that because our, even our masterminds, we were thinking of starting them, you know, in July, but that's summer. We have our, our kids program, the Visionator happening in July. Mm. So as of today, now we need to start marketing in it for six weeks. And I says, once we get the 30 kids signed up, then we can start promoting our masterminds that we're going to be doing in the fall. Yeah. When we're doing our hub factor, we can promote the masterminds that we're doing in the fall and be totally prepared. For sure. And then build a big signature program that becomes the big, big moneymaker. Well, then I was thinking like with the, if you had the interfaces and you're coming at from the different perspectives and then we could use, do the remedy Oracle within that. So yeah. you you, it's, it's sort of like you're, you're adding in the perspective on top of the, the remedy Oracle. So I think if maybe before you, if we could plan some online stuff to show. Okay. Um, and each of you taking one of the interfaces. And so it look really cool because you'd be in zoom with the four of you, each with a different interface speaking or answering a certain question so it's the beginning of taking the hub factor online and seeing it like that kind of thing yeah. and then that can be a cell for coming to the visionary hub to participate yeah well one thing we realize elijah even through this dare to be you um we have the visionary hub's not very big and not known yet right so we can't just use the channel of facebook and social media for the visionary hub we need all four people to go organically to their groups. So right. when I look at this, this is totally online Zoom. The only people that are brought in, like Christy brought her mom in and her mom brought a friend from BC. The rest I did. Right. So it's time for everybody to step up and take some responsibility if they wanna be part of this team. You know, it can be an excuse for the girls from Regina, well, people won't drive to Yorkton for the hub factor. Mm. But when it's Zoom, What's the excuses? Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I, so that's the stuff that is like, come on, we got to get, I got on the phone. I sent text messages to people and out of the 20 I sent to, they responded in some capacity. I wish I could be there, but this is going on or whatever. Right. Right. Because I think when business starts, it does have to be organic and we have a lot more power as four of us going out to our individual stuff than we do with just the visionary hub for sure for now till it gets built right for sure so um, but you can also if you're being more the promoter the promoter is more obviously going to bring in more people because that's yeah. their nature yeah. um so another thing is finding out really what the people are good at have them do it and then have everyone doing that their thing and then they all building together and i mean and that's balancing with sort of like everyone promoting it kind of thing you know 
yeah, is everybody. Like, that's what I said, because Christy's been so stuck on me being promoter, her being the builder, yeah. her being this, and <laughs> so stuck on it. And I go, are you freaking kidding me? I won't take all that responsibility on my shoulders. I'm sorry, I'm not taking it. She kind of looks at me and I go, Carrie and I built the Dare to Be You on a week, two nights. We had that whole platform built. I thrive on that kind of stuff. Right. Pulling the tools that need to come in to create this. I like promoting. I like to invite people to something bigger than we all are individually. But I also like designing. You know, so she was so adamant that each of us were in a square. Okay. She goes, that took a lot off me because I always felt I had to be the promoter. Well, I'm sorry. You all have to step up to get the people in or why are you here? Do you know what I think? I think it's by event. I think like every event can be used for those four, but maybe not like for those four all the time, right? Because yep. some, some events you want to design, some you want to work, some you want to do them all. You can just do the whole thing. So I, I get I get that, that it's funny that the <laughs> getting too attached to the certain things gets in the way. That gets in my way because my biggest value is freedom. So if you're going to stick me in the box of promoter anyway, my biggest value is freedom. She goes, well, you know, you have to be committed. You have to be this. You have to be that. Well, I'm sorry. Freedom is my biggest. Do I need to be here for money? No. Do I want to be here to make a difference in the world? Definitely. So don't come in as a little 36-year-old to tell me what to do and how I need to do it. <laughs> <laughs> And then even the other people that have had concerns, that's what it's about. I get shut down. They don't listen. They step in. They, So it's it's not just me. Right. Like I'm almost ready to let you talk to Rhonda Rowe so you can tell. And when we get people like that we're, that are very instrumental, I feel, and then they're shut down, that's well, disappointing and disheartening. Well, I think... I might suggest a little bit of uh, detachment because I just think that all everyone's stuff is going to come to the surface at some point. Yeah. And, and that's what I was, I had a quite a long chat with her, about 40 minute chat with her a little while ago. Well, you had a call with her? Yeah. Cause Christy, both Christy and Carrie stopped participating in the program. I don't know if you knew that, but. Um, well, because they thought the hub was paying for it. There's no money at the hub, zero. I'm willing to give a $10,000 loan. Chris, Carrie hasn't signed the document yet. So I just said, fuck it. I'm not, you guys find your own money. And that's when they both stopped. So okay. that's how valuable this is to them. Sylvia and I stepping forward with our own finances and saying, we want to take this out to the world. So that even tells me a little bit about people. Huh? Because I mean, so, they both said they didn't have enough time. No, well, whatever. Whatever their reason it for being is, and I can see Carrie not having time because she does, she's, and Christy too. She's got too much I, I think they're both, they're both in a very, like I, I believe when they said they were out of time kind of thing, but I think it was a combination of both probably, but I, um, Well, time is kind of the, it's a big, big resource. And like my coach says to me, he goes, Lori, I have not seen you take a break at all from LR Future selling the investment part to the hub and you're just go, go, go. He goes, and, and you know, your doctor telling you that your thyroid and different things like that, like you need to take time to yourself. Mm. So, you know, like if, if all of a sudden when they think it's when they think, do you think they would have ran out of time had the vision, had the visionary hub been paying? That's what I wonder. You tell me, had the visionary hub, if we went to the meeting on Wednesday and said, you know what, we have the money in the account now, we can continue coaching, do you think they would be in? Of course they would. So the other day at the table, I said, how many of you, if we're going to be coaches and we're going to do this and we're going to charge 80 bucks, 100 bucks an hour, how many of you have co personal coaches? Hmm. And they go, oh, that's kind of a good question. And then we all said, you do have a coach, Sylvia. Elijah is your coach. Elijah's one of my coaches. My doctor's one of my coaches, you know? Like who's stepping up to the plate to do it when we're putting it out there and have this expectation of others? How many are living it? Well, and, and the, the funny thing, I know the funny thing, but the, you know, at some point there may be 200,000 card sets so exactly. and 
I don't have the infrastructure to support the training programs. So yeah. you guys, you guys are the natural first wave, which means, you know, kind of unlimited amount of work, like really. I know. Once this gets going, I mean, you know. But who would know that Elijah, except for me, because we've been connected for so long, like to see how, where you have come and now surrounding by the right people is just like you said, maybe, maybe, you know, doing those four maps with the builder, the promoter as the visionary hub, it should be per event. So where do you want to step in for the kids event for the entrepreneurship coming in? Carrie builds the outline of the curriculum. She builds the outline with the base. Mm -hmm. Then I go around Yorkton and I find the businesses that we could have take the kids to, to get them to experience. Mm -hmm. Sylvia gets the posters and stuff done to put them there. Christy puts in some, you know, whatever, because she's been an entrepreneur. She is an entrepreneur. She puts that in. Like, maybe that's it, right? Well, and it's it's kind of like a lot of the kind of mistakes we're making are going to be our stories for teaching in the future, right? When we're when we're when we find out how to use all the things, but it, it doesn't always go according to plan. Yeah. Well, you know what, Elijah, one thing I see through all this work and getting the hub going is number one is teaching people to become more reflective. So when something comes up, how are we reflecting it back to ourselves in personality so we understand where that's coming from? Mm. Like to me, that's a big part of the hub. And I said, we're really in the business to teach people, not just inspire them, but to literally teach them mm. a new way of being. Mm. So I don't know. Like well, we, and I, I think one of the hardest things in that is giving feedback, right? In regards yeah. to how to work together and, and doing it in such a way that it's received. Yeah. Right. And that's the thing yeah. about all of this. It's, it's, it, it's very difficult as we're dealing with our trigger points. We're dealing with our shadow elements. We're dealing with yeah. stuff for all our lives. Each one of us has had to deal with and, and yeah. maybe not dealt with it at all. Right. So right people if they haven't done much self-work you know this can be a pretty big awakening right like that's a really big awakening and that's why i wrote that down today teaching teaching people to be more reflective and not to you know yeah put up the defense mechanism do what you do to do but address it bringing consciousness to saskatchewan we're in saskatchewan saskatchewan's pretty damn lucky and don't forget we're behind the scenes like we had a call on saturday kaylee's going through this mastermind because she kind of understands the breakdown of it from her work she's doing with kelly roach mm -hmm. and our our sessions with the kids are 185 bucks for the week mm -hmm. so kaylee pops up and she goes well i've done research on other stuff going on in the community for kids this summer and it's 110 and i go what research well the escape program I said, that's kind of a summer babysitter put on by the city of Yorkton. I said, we are so funneled towards entrepreneurship and creating vision with kids and finding their gifts. It's totally different, Kaylee. For so sure. then I said, Sylvia, do me a favor because Sylvia had her calculator. I said, 185, what's the, what's the shift? 8.30 to 4.30 or 8.30 to 3.30, seven hours. Total that up times five days. Now take 185 and divide it by 35. Sylvia goes, comes five dollars i go how many of you would do this for five bucks five bucks an hour yeah and they go so kaylee goes because she brought that up to sylvia the other day because sylvia is her liaison yeah and sylvia goes well yeah maybe it is too much you know without standing ground just going maybe it is too much but once you get on the on a call with Lori and care christy we're don't we're strong personalities plus we're entrepreneurs right. it's like are you freaking kidding me so then, and we're very Ukrainian. Our community is very Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. So Kaylee pulled out her Ukrainian card. She really did, but we're proud of her for doing the research. But she says, now hearing all of you and feedback is a whole different. And then she goes, Sylvia, why did you think it was too much? When I mentioned that to you, you were okay to say, maybe we should just charge 110. <gasps> so the challenging that's coming up is so cool. And we're going, no, we don't want to do it for any less. We want this to be of value. So what, could you send me the structure of that course? Yeah, yeah. I'll send it to you as soon as I get off here. I'll forward it to you so you can have a look at it. Okay. And then, so, and then Sylvia sent us 
the, uh, and I'll send that to you on Messenger. She sent us kind of a breakdown of doing a sheet, double-sided sheet on promoting it from the hub and stuff. I'm gonna send them to you, Elijah, because like a poster is as simple as that, right? Okay. But then when you go to th her third poster, it gets more into day one, become curious. And it's got four bullet points about becoming curious. Day two is connections and choices. Day three is time to create. Day four is community and contribution. Day five is showcase. And it's 150 per child up till June 30th. After that, 185. So it's really only 150 if people get signed up. Okay. We want 30 kids because wow. we have the three. And we're using my building. Like there was never something sit down. Well, what do we charge for the rest of the building? I don't own that alone. Right. So that's where I'm seeing a little bit of, you know, we're going to use the three spaces. Not once have they said, is the old yoga studio available? Studio available. They're just assuming that it's all available, which it is. I already yeah. booked it. But just the principle on how, how um, we're working all this. Yeah. So we do have three spaces. One is quite small. It's the old learning center upstairs. So we're thinking 10, three groups of 10. So that's 30 kids. And I said, if we start promoting now and all of a sudden there's 30 kids signed up, then we can start promoting our masterminds in the fall. Right. Like we can start immediately because then it gets people thinking about it through the summer. But I said up till we, once we get the, cause we're thinking sometimes we get too many things coming. Christy was doing a succulent Mother's Day succulent plant thing. Well, they're getting that. Then we're trying to do Dare to Be You and we're trying to do a Father's Day event. And we're trying to do music in the back alley. And I think people are going like, what is this hub all about? Well, I think it's good to have multiple events and, so and, and, and different people, you know, are more excited about different ones and promoting different ones. Right, right. Um, but I think definitely the more the merrier kind of thing. I think best. that's the good way to do it. The only thing I see is that it's only going through the hub. If it's organically going out to all of our feeds, then that's different because you're right, you're attracting all kinds of people. Hmm. And I think the more people that can be invited in there, that's why we, that's why I thought the hub factor was a good idea. At least it's bringing people into the space. Hmm. Well, I mean, the, the thing is just the timing of COVID is so... <laughs> It's kind of killing so many small businesses out there, you know? It is. It really is. But it's going to subside. And you just don't want to stop saying, oh, COVID's, you know? Yeah. So we don't want to stop. We want to start and just have, like, pretty soon we can go to 30 people. Pretty soon you can have 100 in a gathering in Saskatchewan. As long as you have the square footage for it or outdoor, you can have 100 people together. I think it's June 20th, that phase. Okay. Hey. Do you want a Thursday have a three-way call and using these screens? Yeah, that would be cool. Okay. So that Thursday, same, I'll have same to check two o'clock or around two at Thursday. I don't think anything's going on. Let me just check. I three o'clock your time. Okay. Three o'clock our time. That's June third. Thursday at three looks like it'll work. Okay, let's do that. So are you you and I and Sylvia? Yeah. Okay, that'll be great. And I'll just, I'll get the screens to you and um, yeah, I got to figure some, I mean, I mean, so much, you wouldn't believe everything I'm focusing or touching and new stuff's coming in. And mm -hmm. in, in, in so like, again, like on, I, I had to put all the cards on a Excel spreadsheet to send to these guys. They're starting to ask me for stuff and, you know, stuff that I could just never do before. Like if, yeah. if someone asked me to do something, I, I just couldn't, like, I just couldn't sit down and do like a list. I was always doing something new. Like, I mean, my, always new. so, and it's finally, I'm finally just getting done what has to get done. So, you know what, a lot, because you're an originator, a creator, an inno innovator and an inventor, I could see that Elijah. That's why a team of people is good to have because then you're, you're going to continue forever. Like that's why I think Christy too overwhelmed Rick. She's, she pulled out her book the other day. She's got like 10 maps in there. And I'm going, well, no wonder she's in overwhelm. <laughs> well, she... <laughs> that's a lot of stuff, but she's bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. But yeah. that's just her insecurities. Well, and it's also could be me as being, you know, my overwhelm and intensity gap coming through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need another map, do you? Okay, let's. <laughs> so, 
so I think I when you have a call with us on Thursday, this will be cool. We'll put these into the backgrounds and we'll kind of just play with it, the three of us, and be in three different places, I guess. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, this that'll be great. So two of and two maybe, three. maybe bring Kaylee, maybe bring Kaylee in. Oh, okay. Okay. And maybe what we can do is Kaylee can be at marketing and then we'll we'll make it and then we'll show it to the other ladies. Okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. There's, there's also well, I, that FOMO, the, the fear of yes. missing out. That, and we have to redo those videos. I know I can't. I don't even know where I would find those videos for the Hub Factor. Like you said, it doesn't even really explain what people are coming to. Right. So I know those need to be redone. So, but we just have to do one thing at a time. Get it organized. Get it organized. Like these girls, the Squirrel Network. They interviewed Carrie and I Monday night. Carrie and I didn't even talk about it ahead of time. We flowed like you would not believe through it because that's how we work together, her and I, because nice. we've known each other for so long. Right. So now it's time, like, and they go, the girls go, do you have a picture of each of you bios? Do you have a picture of the two of you? I just happened to take a picture of Carrie and I at the last Dare to Be You last year. I sent it and that's what the picture they used. Okay. Is it my favorite picture of me? Of course it's not, but let's get something going, right? Right, right. If we wait to have a photographer taking perfect pictures of all four of us together, we're not going to move. Could so I was glad Carrie stepped, stepped up and said, I am, this is my, I committed to the visionator and I will create that and I'll be a part of that. And the rest of the stuff is going to halt for now. And this summer, I'll probably come to Yorkton so we can be in the same space and go from there. Like, it would be fun if all of us just X took X amount of dollars and threw it together and put it into an account to start us. That's what I think would be the best. And everybody's, everybody's got a piece in the game. Mm. But. Yeah, but then also the same problems about everyone sort of worrying about what everyone's doing rather than just allowing it to yeah, happen kind of thing exactly let's just allow everybody to do their part like sylvia and i are at the hub from tuesday wednesday and thursday from these times because we just want to be in the space doing what we do mm. and then what we do at home and where with what we do everywhere else i don't have to make myself accountable for that that's not where i want to be in this new model of business right now yeah I, then I don't know, then you might want to change inclusion at products because that's, that's what sort of, I'm thinking, because that's kind of uh, putting pressure to be included in everything. Uh, oh. Right? oh, okay, well, maybe that maybe you're right. Everybody doesn't have to know everything. We each need to be able to come forward with our gifts, utilizing the tools available and going out into the world through the hub with. Like maybe freedom at gifts, we freedom at product. Oh, that would make sense. So we'll see. We'll see what Carrie and Christy pull up, and we'll, or do we change it right well, now? Well, no. I, I just think that and trust in the middle, right? Where I mean, the thing about these maps is that they bring everything up. You got awareness at jobs, so everyone's like more aware. And then you know. like relationships happen. You go, I'm not happy. And then yeah. you're going, well, I'm being authentic, but and I'm passionate, but wait a sec, I'm not balanced. Yeah. That's right. So I think once we do that, Elijah, then we are going to have to have a group coaching call with you because then it's you that'll take us through the nine, 10 points on the map to really, for an, for an understanding of all of them, rather than it just being me. Yeah. I think that would be really good. So if you get that map to Sylvie and I, then we can kind of get it to the ladies. We can let them pick their 10 values and then we'll go from there on all of us agreeing on because i think you're right inclusion there kind of makes brings this to the table where maybe freedom would give it more freedom or flexibility or flexibility or yeah one of the two like either or of those words flexibility too is another high value for me mm. flexibility freedom and fun if i can't incorporate those three things into my life then i don't want to be there well then that's probably what's going on right <laughs> yeah exactly freedom flexibility and fun that wasn't always on the plate. It was like, you know, I was looking after a company, making sure everybody was taken care of, making sure. Well, the, then yeah. like you might like fun at um, authenticity because the thing about authenticity at present moment, everyone's like, <laughs> there's a lot of pressure 
to be authentic rather than just having fun. Right. So you might want to switch. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Well, you know what? We'll just go around. We'll see what the girls, what they choose for their values. And they might have a value that we go, oh my God, that fits perfect. Because I am so open to all of it. Hmm. Well, that's good then, because because I think your I think your value system has created the problems. <laughs> could be like the synergy one, you mean? Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like again, the include like you got to see that these are powerful things that attract yeah. you to realize the values. Yeah. And so sometimes you got to look and go, it's not working, right? There's something wrong here. Right. Right. So do we start from scratch? Do you think? No, I think I think you should do exactly what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I think you should start with what you have, but then mm -hmm. use the four of you and just pick it to pieces and, and up to something. And then they need to feel involved. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but at some point you're going to like, and, and I guess that's whenever a new person comes in, part of the process is, is that they have to go through the buying into the values. And if they can convince the whole team to change a value, fine. But if they can't, then they have to accept what the group value is. Right. And I guess Sylvia and I should have had this set up with you even prior to even bringing or bringing out the other two, yeah. which is, which is cause that's, that's your container. I know. And then they come in, they have to go through and that's just learning for us both. Right. I mean, that's uh, yeah, for sure it is. Well, that's what we're here for. If we can make this work, why can't other people in the world make it work? Right. Right. So we're going through our own growing pains to grow this into something magnificent that's going to be changing the world. For so sure. we have to go through this. If it just went smooth as pie, how good would we be at it? But going through this turbulence is, I think, is good to make us aware, all of us, on where we're coming from. Well, especially you got trust in the middle, and that's that's like the basis of life. And, and all of us, I think, have trust issues. Yeah. So. Yeah. And mine are extended. I have big, I, I trust until you allow me to distrust you. And that's been a, that's, that's gotten me into trouble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so too much trust. Yeah. For sure. And boundaries. For sure. Yeah. That's coming up for me quite a bit lately is boundaries. So, and it does it's not just this, Elijah, it's with my sisters. It's with lots of things in my life. So it's, it's kind of fun growing and I'm only 61. I got lots of time. <laughs> well, you are a pioneer. Oh, and, I just, uh, my, my hat's off to you for what you're doing. It's pretty awesome. Isn't it? It's, it's incredible. Like, it's you, you incredible. Guys, like when the doc said that, Lori, that you guys are bringing something to the world like this, Elijah, I can't wait to meet him, but you guys are bringing this out to the world in such a capacity there's not many people that would even step into that right now. For sure. You know, you got your crew in France, right? The La Ciel. Yeah. That's, that'll be neat one day to come together in some type of event where we all meet each other. Well, I think in November, they're bringing all, everyone together. But I, I mean, if they have Vax passports, I, I don't know if I'll be able to go. <laughs> Hopefully they won't. But yeah, I know. Make a fake one. Yeah. I don't know. Make a fake one. If you figure out how to do it, make me one too. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a copy. Very secret plan. I'm gonna get a copy of Rob's. I want to see it. I want to okay. feel the paper because he's got a copy in his wallet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're coming to the end. Uh, I tried to take it easy. I'm. I'm trying to gauge. Uh, capacity uh, with Sylvia I went real slow and was going piece by piece with the flow just to just because that flow map is like the main reference point and if you don't have it memorized and you don't understand you know really how it works did she say anything about that or no she didn't okay but she talked about the flow using the flow map in her mastermind because we, we I always tell people two weeks tell in a row, sorry hmm? Well, just for two weeks in a row, we just broke down the flow map and had her memorize the flow map and her values. Like that's the main thing because that's what. I think that's it. Repeat, 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 <laughs> and really bring that in because behavior is a big thing. Yeah. Well, it's just, I, you know, I can give tons of maps, but if you're not learning them, if you're no. not using no. them, then it's just too much info, right? So I'm, I'm trying to gauge. Yeah. The exercise that you used for us. And I think we're, I think when we all do our choice maps, we do it as a team with you facilitating and we do it the way that Candace 
and uh -huh. I did it. We okay. chose our top 20. Yeah. We finally put them on the map. We, we put them down on how they pertain to us as a person, yeah. but then how did it pertain to the happiness project or what we want to take out there? Right. And I think if the four of us did that, like as a future reference point, I think it could be a key um, growth, a, a key growth model for us as a team of four. For sure. The choice map for you individually, but then how does that choice fit into the visionary hub? Well, and there's, there's a, I know that the problem is the, as like, I think I showed you this, right? The, oh yeah, yeah, where you can pull the pieces out. Like as the system gets more refined and defined, I'm noticing certain kind of like, you know, the flow is actually two flow wheels and one's inner and one's outer. One's connected to the community and one's connected to you. So the outer ones is your interface to the community and your inner ones is your interface to the group. Oh, so you create a software system where you've got all these interfaces where the world's coming to you through your different perspectives. And then on the inside, you've got interfaces between all the, Within. the, the job members. So it's, it's like we're, we're, we're creating a new type of software. Wow. So you've got, and then you've got the offline cards and that's holding that secret plan, right? The, the actual cards hold the keys yeah. the language structure for the interfaces yeah and i'm just catching you know i'm just starting to figure out because yeah. i was always waiting to make this happen i've had this structure before not quite like this but i never thought to put it within zoom like this so i don't have to have it functioning it, it's like this is a doorway all these interfaces are doorways right Wow. And then what I liked on the one that you did, you put the, you put two cards on each one. You put a values card and then the, the word, right? Um, let like, me just... um, you did one like that. I saw it where you'd put in the values. So when you look at us at the hub, how can we best connect our gifts? And then you put that together. That's really cool. So what I could see is for the hub, when we go, okay, or, or whoever we're working with, you know, as they choose those cards, once you put those cards in there, Elijah, it's like it just puts a completion or something deep into the whole context. Well, it's, once you put those cards, it's refinement because first contact could be anything. But if I'm kind and looking right. at your gifts, right? So this screen is looking at your seven step process at some point your interfaces will be here's the here's first contact so let's say i'm having a first contact with someone i'll come with this screen yeah and so that's my first contact with them right. second screen is going to be maybe needs analysis and so i go through that that process with them so for you when you're looking at your discovery process because this is also how you can film your courses too right. you're, you're creating your background structures and this is the framing for the information that you're going to give them Wow. So and then as you're talking, they've got something to kind of relate to as we're oh well, well it's, it's organization, like humans respond to, to organization. And so we're taking this unstructured zoom space yeah. and now we're giving this background and going, this is what we're working on. We and wow. and you, we can help whatever has happened for us, we can help you to create the same for you, which yeah. is just the, the way that it works. So yeah. It's a, a bit of a multi-level business, right? Where yeah. whatever I teach you, you can teach the others, they can teach the others. And yeah. Oh, this is excellent. This is really cool, Elijah. Wow, the work that you're doing, like even just from when I met you to now, the expansion of what's happening with this whole system is is magnificent because it's forced us in this last year and a half to get things more online and viable in that way. It, are you still working with Nova? Yeah. yeah. Well, his the problem is he's yeah. he's in the Luciel program. He just oh, moved in he? with a new girlfriend. He oh, has uh, he's going to school. He right. has his game, which I'm playing in the background, which is a phenomenal game that he wow. built himself totally. Like it's called Game of Planets, and it's you you start out with a planet, you colonize the galaxy, and, and it's it's oh. brilliant. It's actually brilliantly done. But he he was a little low on the on the imagery stuff, mm -hmm. but he just did that. It's like me, like he did the whole thing himself, and it's it's a viable product. I mean, it's it's worth 
like, like it started with 50 there's 17 people left but you could have you start with 100 people you go into a galaxy and you basically build an empire and it oh. teaches it teaches planetary economics it teaches you know whether you want to go to war with someone or not like it, it it's wow what's nova going to school for He's going to upgrade his uh, his game making. He wants oh, to yeah. play okay. games. Yeah. So anyway, and then we had our stuff. So my yeah. so he's run out of time. Yeah, yeah. He, he doesn't have the time anymore, and so. Yeah. And what about Jordan? Jordan is is uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's going on with Jordan. He was yeah. he, he was yeah. yeah. I touched in with Lara. Uh huh. You know, she says she's got a place right now and stuff like that, because she seems pretty brilliant if she can get past some of her stuff. Yeah, no, the, I mean, everyone on that team is is is, a, is brilliant in, in many ways. It's just yeah. getting the stability yeah. to bring the ideas into the world. And I know what it's like, right? Like, if you don't have the stability, it's very tough yeah. to, it's to, pretty follow, tough. To, to follow through with things. Yeah. So, so well, hopefully as this gets going. The infrastructure will help them to to build up their stability. So, mm -hmm. I just right. I'm so focused on on getting things forward on my own. I'm not putting as much attention on people anymore. I'm just yeah. just yeah. with just with where the work is. Good for you. So, Elijah, can we do or can you email me something kind of just a rundown on what I could say on a video about the convo killers? Right. So that I can get that to Rhonda. What, what kind of gave, deadline you got on that thing? I took. I said the tenth of June. Like it starts on the sixteenth, so I wouldn't even mind having it by the end of this week if we could. Well, how about? Um, okay, I'll make a structure for you. Yeah, and you know what? If those cards come out just on sheets, that's so be it. Well, I've already sent those sheets to you, right? Like. No, nope, not yet. Yeah. You sent me the con the values cards, but not the convo killers. Oh, I thought for sure I sent you the what, killers. But I did, Elijah. I put the card, the values cards, because we're using them, one of our dare to be used. I put them on a sheet, six cards on a sheet. But what I did is made lines between it so that when they go to cut, they're cutting out. And if they want to cut them in circles later, they can. But because we're online and we're limited time. I thought for sure I sent you the Visionary Hub convo killers. No, no. Like the deck of them? Yeah. No. How would you have sent that to me? Through through the Gmail. Um, which, so which which account should I send it to? Like I would send it, to, it's okay to my lrenton 1994 Gmail. That's okay. Cause then I just send it to myself at Lori at LR Future. Okay. So don't worry about that. If that's where it went, but I don't, can, if you could double check that, I'm just checking my. Okay, no, I'll, send, I'll send it. It's 1222 two, two right now, 1222, all those twos economics resources <laughs> infrastructure i'm so into numbers it's crazy lately well not lately last few years like i've got the hub factor backgrounds no there's nothing here okay okay five creative outputs no con convo oh wait 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 synergy convo cards no, that's just the center. No, those are convo cards, not conversation killer cards. Okay. Just wait, just wait, just wait. And there's 30 of them? Yeah, well, there's, yes, yeah, six, five sheets of six plus this, plus the fronts. Okay, so all I got was one sheet and no other side to it. Okay, because I think because they're large files. Well, they're coming separately. Um, you have to press a button that says send send me um, access or something. They don't. Oh, okay. Well, like, I better figure that out then because I've got to get these organized for to send to her, eh? Okay. Anyway, I will send to you, and then we'll work it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. And then the video. What do you think? An information video, just giving them a little rundown. Well, I think stories. I think you should take five or six of them. Okay. And tell a story about how they work for you. Just like I did in the event, in the yeah. event that I spoke at, I told them about one card. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, and that'll just, be good. And maybe start with an intro going, you know, like how how do convoc how do convict killers kill your business? Mm -hmm. oh. How do convo killers kill, kill your, your business? 
That's perfect because then it's a pain point, man. Yeah, and just think about like all the things that have gone wrong because of these things that occur. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then how do you deal with it? It's hard, very hard to deal with because they're unconscious patterns. Mm -hmm. So here's a card set to bring the unconscious to conscious, which in a way may make things worse for a while because now you got to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. May not seem easy off the bat, but believe me, I've been working with them for many years and I'll tell you, it creates a lot of relief when you're on the same page with people and you can have fun with them rather than taking them so personally. Yeah. Okay, so think of how do you, how do you convo killers kill your business? Think of how do you deal with it? Oh, you said a second one. I can't remember what it was. Think of something. And then you said, how do you deal with it as it's, it's, as it's unconscious patterns? Well, how do you, yeah, like, I mean, they're unconscious patterns. So how do you bring them into consciousness? The cards bring awareness to everyone around what they're doing and what they're, what is being done to them. Okay. So cards too. And so people naturally, they shut down if they're jabbed, they shut down if they're criticized, they shut down if they're blamed over and over again. So how as a leader, how do you understand what your blind spots are? Which one of these are you doing? No one's telling you, but you're doing them. So go through these and identify or ask your wife or husband or, or somebody close to you and say, which one of these do I do that shuts you down? And as a leader, if you do that, then the others may begin to. But if the leader doesn't do it, I don't think they will. You know what? That's true. Because remember, my story is about me with interruption. For sure. And that's the hardest thing. Like, I mean, especially if you love that, like there's leaders that are rude that interrupt and there's leaders that are excited that interrupt, mm -hmm. but the, the leaders get away with the most convo killers because nobody's nobody, unless you want to get fired, you don't really want to bring it up. Yeah. Right. Nobody challenges you. You're right. So how do you, the, you said think up something, but I can't remember what it was. It was a second point and it was pretty crucial. And then I got excited because how do you deal with it as unconscious patterns that show up? Um, you think here well you are you recording this yeah yeah okay because that's what i can ask is just questions like that and say you know we're so proud i'm so glad that you were able to be on the wave of leadership conference not wait yeah wave of leadership conference i here's the gift that i had told you i would send you and uh look for and I want to give them some excitement like just wait and so you till you can see how these can align in your life if you allow it or when you allow it not if when you allow it and then I want to say to them we do some training would training be about an hour or would it be 90 minutes Elijah um an hour never seems that long yeah I do 90 minutes 90 minutes yeah okay. And then offer them, say, normally this is this much, but because you were part of this bigger group, it's only going to be this much. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it's something you and I can do together. If you want. Yeah. Like maybe it's something we can bring together. Let's say we get like 50 people that want to do this. You and I could create something together. For sure. Okay. Okay. So 90 minutes and I'll put a price on it like. 49, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Yeah. And it, but normally it would be 150. Normally it would be 150, but because this is a special because of the wave of leadership. Yeah. Okay. And okay. you know we've already demonstrated value with what the cards are. If you really yeah. want to understand how to use them better, you know, have the course. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, and whatever happens, happens, Elijah. It's getting it out there. Okay, I don't want to have a big expectation of the result. I just want to put it out there and say, now's the time. Okay, I think we're going to be called to BC to do some work. Rhonda would have us there in a minute doing work. Really? Mm -hmm. Like wow. that would have been a live conference in Vancouver that I would have got to be on a stage and speak at, but because of COVID, right. it's online. Right. So and she loves the work. She loves the um, Enneagram. So. Okay, Elijah, I must go get ready for dirt of you and I'll send you the outline. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you so much. You have a great day and I'll see you on Thursday. Okay. Bye, okay. Lord. Bye.